Hello, viewer, and welcome back to Games with Dialogue. This is episode 8 of my Chained Echoes playthrough. Last time, we got to the Cortara mountain range and then fought a boss who blew up a bridge, scattering our team to the winds. We played through Sienna's version, where we met a new playable character, who promptly took off, and now we're playing Len and Glenn. So we got to get to... What was the name of the place? The White... White Rose Inn. Right. Uh, inventory equipment. I need... I'm going to give her Cleric, and I'm going to give him Warrior, just for the stats. Um, yeah, he walked off with my collar, but it looks like I can e just equip it whenever. We're not... We're not limited. He didn't take it from us. Um, agility. Hit points. Len's already wearing it. Crate up. Comfy scarf. Immune against silence. I'm going to take Sylph armlet, I think. It is nice that I can just swap gear whenever. I mean... Usually we're all in the same party, so it's not a big deal, but it is nice that I can just swap it now without worrying about it. Some of those old uh, SNES and PlayStation RPGs where the party would split up or somebody would leave after you'd already equipped them with your best gear and they just took it with them. Hated that. All right, where are we? We're on the other side of the map. Oh, boy. Um, so I don't think... I'm just looking for... Oh, what? Never mind. What are you weak against? Wind? The waterfly? I don't think I have you on the board. Going across slash, that's 30. Our pierce is 35? Wow. Hmm. With how much hit... Oh, jeez. With how many health, how much health this thing has, I probably should just armor break. Do it again. At least I don't have to worry about stealing here. Another one. This is super easy, right? I mean, yeah, this is easy. <laughs> I feel kind of bad for this guy. It's two on one, even though he's wrecking my face when he hits me. It won't be, it won't stay that way once, uh, once he's joined with some other enemies on the field of battle. But for now, I do feel kind of bad. Was there... I don't see... Whatever that is. I don't think that's a thing. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Can I not? Okay. Sure. Sure. Five leaf clover. There's nothing here. Alrighty. Oh, how do I... Do I drop down from above? I drop down from above. Okay. Well, let's do that then. Alarm clock. I drop. And then we climb again. And then again. Newt. I need to find... Oh, no. Uh, I need to find a... Wait. Okay. I need to find a... Um, 
vendor to are you kidding <sighs> schmuck bait i guess i should have seen that coming i need to find a vendor to sell all of these uh, items for deals i'm getting antsy holding on to all this stuff Guess I should have figured that. And that'll just lead me to the same place. Yeah, right over there. Alright. I won't fall for it a third time. Maybe a second time. But not a third time. Wait. Was there anything over there? I don't think... It's just... It's just for looks. <clears throat> Sky Armors. I want a Sky Armor, dang it. Let me have my own. These are X300 models. That's that's unbelievable. They're the most recent models produced by MRC. They have double the horsepower of the previous model and use less fuel. It's the biggest generational jump between models since the P100s. Look, look how smoothly their joints twist before changing directions. It's beautiful. The passion does you credit. Huh? Look over there! Wow, that's a long way to look over there. Oh, well, I guess if we're high up, then it... Anyways, they're mobilizing for war. How horrible. Yeah, if we're, like, on a high uphill, but even though so, we had to look past a couple of houses. Lord Gustav Rimier is, allow is allied with Terran. We should steer a wide berth around this village. So, I'm not going to keep doing that. The joke's run its course. Rearmeyer? Rear I'm going to call it Rearmeyer. I've heard of this name only recently. Lord Gustav is Rob's father. Oh, he's the son of an earl? Well, that explains a lot. I'll speak ill of him. He's gone through much. Sorry, sorry. I seem to know him well. During the war, Lord Gustav rebelled against my father, but he was quickly put in his place. Rob was taken as a ward to the royal castle. There, he grew up with me. A life as a hostage. He was the son of an earl. Was not treated any better than a court maid. Oh, wait, okay, she's... I thought she was going to defend his life. He was the son of an earl, but he's not treated any better than a court maid. That must have been very painful for him. Sorry, I didn't know. You're awfully often sorry for something. Don't be. I'm sorry. I mean... Okay. Anyway, let's move on. Avoiding all these monsters is taking us a long time. True, but we stand no chance against most of them in battle. Sorry for not being much help. What are you talking about? Without you, I'd have never dared to cross these mountains. Are you alright, Glenn? Uh, let's set up camp. The sun is setting anyway. Say... I know it's none of my business, but what do you plan to do about your brother? Matt seems to have confirmed uh, confirmed that Prince Frederick ordered the murder of Lady Parnella. Matt's a liar. I don't believe a word he says. Oh, come on, Len. Come on. Come on, be smarter than this. Don't get me wrong, Glenn. I'm not some naive girl who, despite all the evidence, thinks her brother is innocent. I know him better than any other person in the world, and I know exactly what he's capable of. And it's not little. That does not mean that he gave the order in this case, nor does this mean that I cannot prevent a war by talking to him. I need to see the bigger picture with my own eyes and not betray my brother based on the statement of someone who tried to murder me. You're right. You're right. Who else should you trust but your own family? To see the bigger picture. That was also the reason why I fled the castle. You can't understand what it's like to watch the world only on the horizon while you sit idly in the bay window of a tower. You don't know what it's like to be locked up behind walls all your life. Actually, <clears throat> I know that only all too well. You do? The city where I came from was a huge prison. It was a giant pit in the ground. Some rotten buildings built in mud with high walls all around them. The guards opened the gates, threw the prisoners inside, 
and then closed the gates behind them. They didn't care what happened inside. The law of the strongest ruled in there, and if you were strong, hardworking, and had a lot of luck, you were sold as a slave and could leave the city. Are you talking perchance about Golgotha? Yeah. I was born behind the walls, the son of a prisoner. Said you could see the world only on the horizon? I couldn't even do that. I didn't even know what the horizon looked like. People talked about it, but I couldn't imagine it. Surrounded by walls, all I knew was the sky above me and the mud beneath my feet. You're a survivor from Golgotha? Didn't know that. Sorry, how foolish of me. Couldn't have known. After the Jadar Exodus, I was freed and joined the Band of the Iron Bull. Being in prison for such a large portion of my life is probably the reason why I enjoy flying sky armor so much. Up there, I feel free. I can look beyond every mountain, beyond every wall. Now the troop is no more. Ah, I gotta said that line differently. More gravitas. When we reach Terran, I'll see to it that you're generously rewarded. You could use it as capital to start over. And eh, that's Kaylin's most senior wish. But if I were to choose, then... Tell me! Back during the Battle of Warrenshire, I was in the center of the explosion that engulfed it. Wait, we're in the middle of it? How did you survive? I don't know. Explosion pulverized buildings, killed people, vaporized water, and melted skin. But both Kaylin and I, we didn't have the slightest scratch. The cause of the explosion was... It looked like a grimoire, but not the magic tomes, mind you. Those crystal stones they put in the book's cover. It was bigger than the usual stone, and the refracted light shone on the colors, in the colors of a rainbow. A grimoire? Are you sure? I don't know of any with such power. Some ruler on Volandis seems to know it only too well, and Killian and I are searching for information. We want to know what this is all about. That's why you snuck into the palace. And that's why we're traveling to Tormund and trying to help you. We'd like to ask your brother to share all his information about the Grimoire with us. I speak of a weapon so powerful that it can end wars on its own. I doubt that my brother will share information if he actually possesses any. But I'll ask him. I promise you. Thank you, Len. This explosion is still haunting me. Finding information on what happened that day is my way of dealing with it. I'll do my best to help you. Sorry. Stop being sorry! Yeah, yeah, alright, 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 let's sleep then. The more we talk about this topic, the harder it will be for me to find a good sleep. So be it. Good night, Glenn. Oh, that's touching. Oh, that's beautiful, Ish. Good night, Len. You there, wake up! I don't know. Okay. Soldiers? Do we look like soldiers to you? What do you want? Do you know where you are? This is a holy place. You have no business here. Oh, my head. Watch it. It hurts. Sorry, we didn't know what we where we were. It was not on a purpose. These are sacred woods. Anyone who enters this forest is sentenced to death. Why are you here, then? I'm sentenced to death. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. We have a state of emergency. Our village, Wayland, was attacked by a beast. We wounded it badly, but the beast fled. We're chasing it before it can recover. Beast? Looks like a mix of a bear and a wild boar, has bright red eyes, and is huge. For the wounds we inflicted on it, three men had to pay with their lives, and five others were seriously injured. Srita, we know... Wow, we should not stay here any longer. We're all exhausted. A short break is necessary. Beast won't get very far anyway. Can you forgive us for trespassing in this state of emergency? Uh, you're armed and look like you can handle your weapons. We'll rest for a moment and then you'll follow us. You want us to help you take it down? Don't worry, it can hardly defend itself anymore. Don't help them, Glenn. You could put yourself in danger. Who are you? What do you want from me? Did he say that out loud? No, it's all in his head. <sighs> Let us help. 
We have a different objective, have you forgotten? I know, but haven't you heard? Bright red eyes? Just like the demon at the banquet. Maybe there's a connection. Besides, we have no choice anyways, or should we be hanged for entering this forest? Of course not. Alright, get ready while we're still resting. I mean, I'm ready now. Let's go. Let's do it. I've never seen such an aggressive beast before. We have to finish it off while it's still injured. No telling what will happen once it recovers and returns. Monster's eyes were glowing red as if it was possessed by some kind of magic. Even our local monster hunter has never seen anything like it. Monster came out of nowhere, destroyed two houses and a barn. Fairy? Stop kidding, this is no fairy tale. Well, maybe I should talk to her? We can take a break for a few minutes, the beast won't get too far. Get yourselves ready. I go... Nope. Is she wrong way? Alright, so we don't have to talk to her to continue. Let's just go. It almost feels like it's showing us the way. But where to? Don't follow it. Will-o'-wisps lead people to their deaths. Don't you know? Don't you know? The terrible idea. Absolutely awful. Why is this brighter here? Directly underneath the moon? Uh, I guess it was just the one treasure chest. Maybe? I'm going to get myself lost doing this. Ugh, I went the right way. Shoot! Don't go any further! Ah, What's going on? It, it hurts so much. The voice inside my head. Len, what are you talking about? It's here. Have you seen something? Can't really see anything. Focus, Glenn. It's a trap. Glenn, dodge. This is Sarita's red-eyed beast. How did you know it was coming? Um, intuition, I guess. Do you hear their laughter? These forest spirits, or whatever they have, uh, they are, have set us up. Maybe we can defeat it. Look at its injuries. We've no other choice. There's no turning back anymore. So, oh, dang it. I bet I missed. I hope I can go back and look for those treasure boxes. I bet there was plenty more in the forest that I just skipped right over. Certain items and skills can apply the following status effects. We know this already. All right. Uh, can't steal. Don't matter. No weaknesses. We'll just have to apply fire resist uh, weakness. Cleanse, nothing to worry about. Eh, let's do fire. Oh, I should have probably used my ultra move. Eh, it doesn't matter. Wow. Hmm. We need to heal. Hmm. Shoot decoy. And then heal all. And then of course you hit me with the That's fine. That's fine. Armor broke it wore off. Uh let's heal all again. Okay, and then oil slash. We're gonna need to recover TP here in a second. Or, or not. Man, that oil really makes a difference. Victory! Grimoire Shard? No. I don't hear their laughter anymore. The forest spirits lured us towards this monster, but why? 
Glenn? Ooh, you don't look well. The color's left your cheeks. I... Uh, I... You should have listened to me. The beast that you defeated just now and the demon that attacked the banquet were both born from the planet. Born from Aldrea. And they share one common goal. It is to hunt you down and kill you. You understand, Glenn? The world wants to see you dead. Glenn! So is he like a revenant or like a... Is his body dead and his spirits like in uh, possessing his own corpse? Why does it want to see him dead? Whose fate do you wish to follow? Oh man, I bet there were treasure chests. I bet there was equipment and awesome gear and awesome weapons and crystal shards all in that forest. And now we're left with the castoffs. That was close. No, 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 no. Please don't. Amulets are still glowing. Thanks to fate. Calm down. Yeah, I knew the two would be at each other's throats. And then Papa Victor come in. Children, behave yourselves. How should I? You cold-hearted mercenary may not care, but I do. Len may no longer be alive. We have to get away from the river first. General Matt may be looking for us. Gillian's right. Sir Victor. General tried to kill the princess. We'll move mountains to find Len. Luckily, there are a lot of mountains here. Let's leave the river behind us as fast as possible. Len is certainly doing well, as are the others. Sir Victor, our task is to escort the princess to Tormund. I know, Rob. I know. But we have no choice. Sienna and Glenn are capable fighters. They'll look out for her. Hopefully, they remember our meeting place, the White Rose Inn. We can meet them there. Sounds like a plan. Let's get going. Fine. Uh, let's save. Well, let's save on a different save slot, you know. Just in case I want to go back on my own personal time and see if I missed anything. And then fight the boar again. And then overwrite this save file. You know, just in case. Sure. Alright. Alright, follow me, children. Papa Victor's gonna take you on a hunting expedition. Uh, not hunting. Uh, exploration? Um, hiking. Yeah, we're going hiking. Hello. Ooh, good upgrades. I guess the only way to cross the mountains is through these mines, but it's full of monsters. How about you go ahead first and clear the way? Alright. Alright. Alright, I've wasted enough time there. Let's go. Oh, wait, I wanted to... Ay -ay 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 -ay. I wanted to buy some stuff from him, or at least check what he has available. Let's see if he has any gear available. Even though I just upgraded everything. Glaive Gladius... Gladius? What does that go to? Um, I can't check. Oh, it, it goes to... Is it better than a copus? I don't know. I can't check if it's better than a copus. Longbow, we already have. Rapier, Boken, Claymore. Okay. Oh, that's not everything. Sturdy Act, okay. So, nothing new there. And nothing new there. Alright. The only thing... I think might be new as the um, weapon for Glenn, but he won't be using it for a little while. A man of mines, huh? Do you think this is the right way? The Wigard mines are a vast network. If we follow the trails, we should arrive at another exit. How do you know all this? The port of Kratara belongs to my lord father. Quite wealthy, aren't we? Planning your next robbery? Forget it. I'm looking for any kind of, like, enemies to avoid silver ore. Doesn't look like there's anything... Oh, what? Spoke too soon. Okay. Uh, and they don't have anything to... Oh, they do have stuff to steal. How does that make sense? What are you weak against? Fire? 
I'm glad I didn't slot the dark or the wind crystals then. Nuts to that. Do I have machine killer on any of these guys? I don't. Boiling flesh? Ooh, don't like the sound of that. I'm sure nobody does. Lowers target's defense and... Oh yeah, I should have used that first. I forgot I had it. Uh, do I want to heal? They're strong against Earth. Sure. And then... Power swing, I guess? Not not any good. Not any good. Alfred's will legs wide. Sure. Do this again. Uh and then just attack him, I guess. Fantastic. Doesn't look like there's anything down here, but there might be another fight, maybe. Alright, so those guys don't show up on my reward board. And it's... yeah, there's... these mines don't show up on the reward board. Okay. Alright. Well, there's only one way to go then. Look at this, a transportation lorry. Maybe we can use this. Well, that actually saves us quite a lot of time. Only when it's going in the right direction. I don't want to exit these mines just to find myself in Roland again. Well, here's a map of the tunnels. There are skulls everywhere. That doesn't look too good. Well, they most likely symbolize collapsed tunnels or unfinished tracks. Sure. Guide your lorry through the Wingrid Mines. Press the map button to open a map of the tunnel system while in battle. This icon marks your current position. Thank you. This blinking yellow arrow shows the direction your lore will take on the next... Oh, the lorry will take on the next crossing. Um... Okay. So I want to avoid the skulls, right? That's what you're saying? Guide your lorry through the Wingrid Mines. Hit the switches to change direction. The crossing is reached when it's the crossing's turn. The crossing is reached... Okay, alright. So it'll be on the turn marker up in the top right. Some tunnels have effects on the party. Poison all, damage all, heal all, game over. Stat buff. I guess we have to use these switches to change direction and navigate towards the exit. Oh, hello! Oh, great! So now we have to control this platform and also fight monsters? Would be boring otherwise, right? <laughs> Get ready. I don't know how I'm gonna interpret his uh, laugh. I don't know how. Uh, so I can open... So... We need to hit the switch and go that way. Alright. It is a... Gazer. Uh, we want to hit the right switch, right? Oh, it's going to hit everything. Right. All. Ugh. West, north, south, east switch. Okay, good. Alright, that's how that works. Unfortunately, I have two people that can hit all. So, you know... That sucks. For me. A lot. Let's silence this thing, whatever it is. Okay, silenced wore off, but it stopped him from doing whatever he was gonna do. This sucks! 
Hit the gazer. And only the gazer. Um, what is he weak against? Water, of course. So we don't want to go through the poison if possible. Um... Sure. I'm not too worried about that. Alright, so we're just gonna auto-turn when we get up here, which is fine. Then we have to contest with Falling Rocks, which is not fine. I'm gonna grant TP regen then. And then... continue to poison him, I guess? Not much else I can do here. Maybe silence him. Uh-oh, I'm almost out of TP. I'm out of TP. Uh, let's sweet him up. Here you go, Rob. One of, one of those uh, wor worthers. Alright, it doesn't really matter, but we want to be able to heal after this. So let's go north again. Probably throat cut, so I don't get hit by Earth again. Resisted. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's heal. And then attack, I guess. Give myself a sweet. This one's coffee flavored. Okay, and then... Hit it again. East. And then... Power shot, sure. I didn't get to heal, but I didn't look at the rest of the map. Was there any, like, treasure or anything if I had stalled out the fight long enough? Shoot, I bet there was. I bet I bet I missed some, like, rare super item that was on the track if I had let the fight continue. Deals high damage to all enemies. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Oh, I should have armor broke first. Whoa! Kelian! Somehow I think you're not a normal human. With normal moves and... Perfectly normal weaponry. Uh, let's do this one. Break your armor. I could heal or attack with magic. Let's do that. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. He's out. Well, that's a shame. I don't really know. That only does nine damage. Super weak, bro. Skill level up. Okay, cool. Love to see it. No items, huh? No treasure chests? No nothing?
Okay. Paralyze Extender? Paralyze Extender? Yes, please. Yes, please. I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know that was a thing we could get. Uh, we want a roar, Rogue Grim or Rogue Grim. Darkness. <sighs> Darkness. Well, great. Gonna have to make do without. Play game? This guy should be slow, right? Even still. Uh, let's throat cut. Ugh. And then... Hmm. Eh, let's save some TP. Break his armor. Should have done that first. Power shot. Is he almost dead? What are you at? Oh, you got a ways to go. Let's helping hand rob then. And then... Sure. Let's wind it up. He's not particularly weak or strong against it, so it's fine. Huh. That didn't move him on the list. Which is annoying. That's okay. That's alright. Fight's over. Doesn't matter. He didn't get an next turn. Life's Light. You know, I'm... I'm curious. Let's go to the Beast Jerry. Uh, field enemies, dungeon enemies. This is what I'm looking for. Orgrims were used in old times as a means of transportation. Their hats were supposed to restrict their vision and calm these aggressive beasts down. Now they're living all alone, still carrying the luggage of their past owners. Oh, so they're just giant, dumb beasts of burden who wound up getting shafted when their owners left. Pun intended. Oh, we're definitely... Whoa, what was that? The Megalo Worm! Been puncturing holes in Volandis for centuries. Is that the earthquake? It's the cause of the numerous earthquakes. Thank you. Ask a question, get an answer. Escape death by a hair's breath. I don't think that's funny. I don't either. That thing's huge. Okay. He's needed. All right. Another one of these, huh? And he bars our path. Okay. I feel kind of bad. My wide swing does nothing. And if I had taken... If I had taken the skill that lets me attack one enemy, I'd get, be getting more use out of it right now. Uh, throw cut? Sure. Keep him from doing something. Anything. Except for that. It's fine. It's fine. We're here to heal Rob, and then pressure point. Um... Yeah, it's a power shot. Okay. Let's lay game, I guess. It doesn't seem to affect his turn order. Heal all. Is he still poisoned? For two more turns, then we power shot. Good. Six whole skill points. We're rolling in it now. That's a goblin. Hello? No, no! 
No, 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 grind him. What is he? What is he saying? Uh, no one passes, I guess. Maybe. Um, I want to look at my skills here. One, 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 two, 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 one. Mind up. One, 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 one. Oh wait, same guy. <laughs> hmm. You know what? Let's help this along. Uh, why? There we go. Sooner we get that one mastered, the sooner it's just something we know. Um, I think with class emblems, if I recall, with class emblems, once I've mastered the skill, it's just mine to keep. Another one of these... So the sooner that happens, the better. Because if we're going to be sw swapping class emblems around to people, I want them mastered as sooner rather than later. I have a feeling we crossed half of Kurtara just by using these mechanisms. I hope we make it in time and the princess is safe. And here we go again. Whoa! This thing is huge! Time to get serious. I mean, you weren't before? Poison shot. What is this? Giga Drill Breaker. And of course I can steal from him, which just annoys me to no end. At least he's weak to wind here. Alright, what are we looking at? Whoa! Okay, I don't see any kind of like treasure listed here, which is fine. We can poison and then defend and heal. Or we can take some damage and then poison. And then damage. And go the long way around. We can poison, and then... We want to kill this thing, right? It had... The other thing had a really awesome ability. Or, or, or item when we killed it. Sure. Let's do this. Alright, Rob. We're just going straight up, so I don't have to worry about it. Throw cut. Alright, I'm gonna heal myself. Just dang, that hurt. Uh, wind attack. Alright, let's, um... I wonder if this thing has any kind of, like, group, wide slash, group hits that change. It didn't. Okay, but I wonder if it does have anything that will hit the switches as well and wind up veering us off course if it gets a turn before... Hmm. I don't want to risk it. And then another pressure point. And then we go this way. And I don't have to worry about the switch. It's poison again, I suppose. Keep this going. Um, I don't actually have anything, so... Oh, I should have healed. I don't have anything for you, either. Yeah, let's heal. Uh, and then defend, I guess. Get us back into overdrive. Then we're into overheat again. Alright. This isn't... <clears throat> this isn't sustainable. Let's do Alfred's will. And then... Throat cut? Resisted. Shoot. Um, heal all, I think. Just in time for that wide slash. Um, alright, alright, let's manage some stuff here. Heals all TP. I'll give that to Rob. 
He's only... He's only got 11. He can make use of this. Uh... I desperately need to get out of overheat. Let's give this to Killian. Heal all. I think we're about to drive into... Oh, no. We're going to go that way? We don't... Oh, it's going to send us back if we... I didn't see that. It's going to just send us right back. We could heal, but I don't see the point of that. Hmm. A helping hand. And then... Somebody's got to hit the switch. Yeah, let's use the ultra move. We'll get our TP back. That's what we that's what we were saving it for. Okay, fantastic. That'll help. That'll really help. Uh we want to go east, right? As long as he isn't able to hit the switch. Okay. Okay. Do we want to go south? I don't mind going into the poison. Yeah, let's go south. Uh, how long do we have? One turn of south. Um... this. Okay. Uh, and then we want to do east again. That'll send us into the poison zone. Let's defend and get this down. TP regen? Sure. Okay. Then we're gonna go south, which looks like our only real option here. Yeah, all right. I really haven't done a whole lot of damage to this thing, all things considered. Oh, that did it. We got him. Fantastic. Thought it was going to take longer. 
That poison really does pull through on me. Is that a Grimoire Shard? Hint, hint, please. Yes! Fantastic! Alright, let's save. Uh, let's learn our skills first and then save. What do I want to do? Dry, HP regen, defense buff, grants HP absorption. Let's dry. Sure. And then... Cures all status ailments. Absolutely. And then... Heavy thrust. Physical attack becomes stronger with consecutive uses. One. That's 1.8. That's 0.5. Assuming it goes 0.5 every time, that's... Four turns before it's stronger than heavy thrust. Why, why would I do that? Why would I do that? Alright. Save. Fantastic. Alright, I think that's a good spot to end today's episode on. Thank you everyone for joining me. Until next time, stay safe and God bless you.